okay? Whatever happened to the Black Community Festival? Okay, back in back in when we were involved in it. <laughs> no, there's but there's it's disjointed. Yeah, very disjointed. There there used to be one black community festival committee. Yep. We met, we planned, you had national oh, headliners right. as uh, the Grand Marshals. You know, we had the Tuskegee Airmen here. It was all one thing. Yeah. Then it just split. One, one, one person to tried to do, and then that was going to be my thing. It is it, it? And other people just said, "No, we'll start our own." Yeah. I am one of your co-panelists slash hosts, Brother David Harold Dudley III, a.k.a. Cool Breeze. Cool. I am Gary, your personal street philosopher. What that means is if you're sitting next to somebody, like me, like him, there are two different versions of the street philosopher because they're customized just for you. There you go. And next to me. Hi there. I am the real Cliff Barnes. Just like to say hi to everybody. Hi. Cliff. And, and, uh, well, it's almost gone now, but, uh, happy Black History Month. I miss it. And you, sir. Hello, I'm Luther Lyle. Happy Black History Month. It's an extra. It's an extra day. Yeah. It's an extra day. What does that mean? What? Sixteen nineteen. Yeah. What does it say? Remembrance and resilience and remembrance and uh, and uh, resistance, lest we forget. There you go. Sixteen nineteen <clears throat> is when a lot of black people started coming to this country. Oh, on vacation. Uh, well, actually, I, I think for I think I think the term is involuntary relocation. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Serv a Black History moment. Servitude, servitude, <laughs> or serve the dude. Yeah. Serve the dude. <laughs> serve the dude. Or a one hundred percent tax on our labor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, uh, you know, was... the minimum wage was below minimum. Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, uh, the, the, the minimum wage <laughs> is below minimum now. <laughs> you know, actually, actually, it was non existent. It's so. a sliding scale of minimum wage. Oh, yeah. It's like some Michael Jackson backsliding. <laughs> black, black History Month, we seem to be stuck in this mode of. I'm not saying anything negative about it, but why are we stuck? I mean, I know it's called history, so what's there, but rarely is there anything from there that folks apply to now. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, no. yeah, I kind of do. Why don't you... you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I said I didn't understand. I kind of I kind of do. <laughs> you mean, why doesn't it... Uh, Parlay into something that keeps Correct. going and you keep going. Correct. Right. Oh, okay. Like like we, we were before in the past been discussing the little thing we had going in our generation. Mm -hmm. Each one, teach, teach one. Mm -hmm. you know? What is there now? I think it is because this brother, <laughs> for years, has been trying to keep Black Dollar Days going and growing, going and growing. But right. it takes buying. It takes trust. And it's okay. Well, we just can't do it once. 
and expect it to be. It's got to keep growing. It's got to become a part of everyday living and not just a month. Well, I don't know. I have a different, I have sort of a different view on that because, you know, once upon a time back when uh, Festival Sanjata started. Oh, uh, yes. Right? Yeah. When I was involved with it for a couple of years, it was going into a transition from blacks actually running it and say, having a say and actually doing it to a rainbow kind of coalition of folks doing it to what it is now. What kind of sense is that? Mean? Which is, what is it now? To no. say, well, well, I mean, it's, 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 the it's, Rainbow it's, Coalition it's, it's is gone. still is gone, and now it's just yeah, Caucasians. Yeah, but yeah, mm. that's not that's not fully true. <clears throat> well, uh, one to respond to your question about what has happened in the past and is a transition today. One, the fact that Festival Sandiata still exists that's a good thing. Yeah, and yes, it has. Uh, evolved. Um, <clears throat> there are still black uh, tokens uh, uh, on the, as a part of the uh, organization and, and, and the development of it. It has been more inclusive, so that there's other vendors that are there. There's still free entertainment that happens. Um, uh, my our brother. Uh, Boomy Delbert, you know, you know right, he right. Right. off this shirt here. I mean, he he all, he's been a fixture of that for the for the longest friend of mine. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Paris Brown, she's been on that organizing committee, and then this other brother, I can't think of his name right now, but but there there are there's still black there's, st there's still black input yeah. at the table making the, the the thing. So it's not all just white okay. or all okay. okay. That, that may be as as you were talking. <laughs> about more inclusive. Mm -hmm. I really had a thought of, and this comes from the shirt that you're wearing. It says 1619. Mm -hmm. I do remember a time when we were in charge of everything. Maybe not in this locale, mm -hmm. but in other locales. And either the other locales, they're gone now. There's no more black businesses. You know what I mean? Except at, at a spot here and there. Mm -hmm. To me, more inclusive means it, it, it's like a death knoll, a death bell. Because integration. I understand. Yeah, okay. It's diluted. It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 and yeah. and that's, that, that's what I was trying to say all along. I, I agree with you as far as the specific, being specific about black. You know what I mean? That, that's, that this is specific about us. There's right. only about the, the, what, two or four blacks that were on this ship, the White Lion, that were brought over right. here for service duty, and they just said, hey, this, this works, let's bring some more. Bring right. some more. Right. <clears throat> and as we, uh, the, the civil rights movement, we would say, in our, in our lifetime since the 50s and whatnot, and, you know, ending Jim Crow type of thing. It, it was primarily us, but the benefits have been to others, you know, white women and, and now LGBTQT, stuff like that. And it's interesting to, to know that when Martin Luther King and uh, uh, Malcolm X, at, both of them at the time that they um, uh, were assassinated, they were moving towards from civil rights to human rights. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that evolution of, it's not just us. And there, you hear this phrase about uh, uh, high tide lifts all boats. Well, giving us our civil rights and moving to human rights, that's, that lifts everybody who's oppressed. And I think that's a good thing. You know, as we hear the terms we hear now are but, D -D -I, diversity. But does yeah. that change the, the narrative, for example, of... A job opening here at this level. Say tenth level, there's ten levels, this is at the tenth level. Mm -hmm. 
Does that mean that the less qualified candidate will be chosen? Um, well, that's what a lot of people were saying about affirmative action, you know. And then you also have to remember there were white people involved in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, I'm back in the day. Back in the day, day. When, you, back look, the day, when day, you look day, at day. the mar when you look at the marches and you look at the film of the marches, there are actual actually white people that are that went to jail, that got murdered, right. and, and, and the whole and, thing and, and, that and were a lot part of, of it. And a lot of the times, they were the majority in the crowd. Yeah, well... It depends on what, it, what location yes, you are in the yes. the country. And, and, you know, in the ones... And if we're talking, you know, we're talking about Selma, and we're talking about Birmingham, and we're talking about, you know, the dogs and the fire hoses and stuff, where there was mostly black people involved in the march, there was still some white participants. There were a bunch of white students that came down from the north, and um, on those freedom buses, you know, on the on the free the freedom riders. So I mean, you know, they weren't necessarily at the forefront. They weren't leading, but they were were participating, and they are in, they're, therefore human rights is involved because you know civil rights. Those white people at the time had civil rights. We didn't. Right. But as far as human rights go, now we have so many diverse parts of our society. And people are finding more and more things to discriminate against each other. You know, like we're talking about, you know, the, the um, transgender movement and all of these different things. People are like, well, this ain't right and this ain't. So there's always something in our society to divide us. You get one thing that's a lit that makes a little bit of progress, and they'll move over and they'll start doing something else to divide yeah. us as a society. Yeah, it's been a tactic, it's been successful for for, <laughs> for that minority at the top yeah. that, that runs everything, right. owns everything. For every one person that wants to do what you want to see done, there's four people <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes. Working like hell, trying to prove it. Trying to prevent it. You call that backlash. <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah. one of the solutions Luther had: Why don't we do this? Well, W. Frank that differently. One, we don't control our own media. Two, we don't control our own credit unions. So we don't have control of our money, and we don't have a base of money where you need a house, you need remodeling, you need whatever, where we can get you a loan that you can afford so you can stay in your house, in the neighborhood you want to stay in, and build up your equity. Yeah. Okay. So how do we get to there? I think we're getting to there. Okay, that's a positive, but let's right. share with our well, audience. I, 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 I look around, and where, where are we doing this at? Well, we doing, tried it. Doing what? We had we had it going on. Talking talk, 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 oh, talk locale. No, talk we in locale. we had we had okay. Prime example, <clears throat> Tulsa. Okay. Those were. You know what? But, but no, Tulsa, Black Wall Street. Street. That was an example of how black people could help other black people and raise everybody up, and the result was. And the opposition, you know, the Caucasians in that area of Oklahoma, burned it the hell down. And that would that was a start. If that had successfully continued, then that would have been an example for other locales. Okay, but but you know, people. It's like you know, people are like, oh wow, if we if we try to progress, if we try to move on. Somebody's going to just destroy it. Fear, and, and fear was it, fear was a big part of keeping black people and people of color down. 
<laughs> people are afraid to be the ones. That's what that was. What was so special about Dr. King and Malcolm X? People like that. They put themselves out there, and you paid see the, the result. They paid the price. And and I also think just jump in. I I think it's a mixture also of <clears throat> people having that mindset of not wanting to be the one in front or putting themselves mm -hmm. out there because it, it kind of sucks to be the first black anything mm -hmm. <laughs> in this country. Yeah, no. Um, but on the other side, y y there was that time where somebody would put themselves in front and people would rally behind them yes. and then it would mm -hmm. be a, what we would call a movement. Mm -hmm. yes. But I think that in today's day and age, with social media and with everybody really, I mean, I'm sure everybody was always doing their own thing. Now you mm -hmm. just see everybody doing their own thing. Right. And I think that when someone wants to get a movement started, I think people are so like, uh, I'll watch, but from my phone. And I'm not gonna, happens. yeah. See, and yeah. so there is no more yeah. rallying. So it's mm -hmm. very hard to get those things because it's not like there aren't things happening in this country. I mean, here in Seattle, uh, I know a group of, of, of brothers, you know, they're building a coalition to, to do something. Um, Isaiah, our cousin Daryl's in there, my boy Deontay. You know, they got this group, right, so right. there are people doing right. stuff. I, mm -hmm. get, I get the emails from them, too. Mm -hmm. But but I think it's a really different day and age as far oh, yeah. as the response to that. Absolutely. It's a different climate completely. I agree. But, uh, but you know what? Get, get, getting back to my original thought about Festival Sanjata. Mm -hmm. The point I was trying to get to was now I, I, I admit I haven't been in about five years, but mm -hmm. I have no reason to think it's changed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Whereas back when we were doing it, when I was involved with it, it was a largely black crowd that came through. Yeah. The last time I went about five years ago, I was actively looking for somebody black. Mm -hmm. And there was thousands of people there, but well, maybe what, what four you, to five What do you think that, um, that, that trend happened? What do you think that well, like I said, to me, it started to happen when it became more inclusive. Yeah, well, Because, because for example, I, I remember we had a... a What's his name? Branford was one of the entertainers that came through with his with his group, uh, Buckshot. Buck, oh, yeah, yeah. Buckshot Lafon. Yeah, Buckshot, Buckshot and Lafonk. Yeah. Well, we, we, we brought them through, right? Mm -hmm. Their brothers was bad. They was jazz musicians. Sure. But they were attacking their instruments, literally. They were, that was very exciting, but it was very forward thinking by an all black group. Um, let's see, I left in 2021, so I think this was 2020, <clears throat> I think it was 2020 and 2019. Right, when we, at, uh, COVID started. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, right, just before mm -hmm. that. Uh, I remember attending a Festival Senata went back, and there was confunction. I remember and, that uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. Was Function the Dance Band? I think so. Mm -hmm. or, or yeah. Rick or somebody, you know. That year, yeah. Yeah, that was free. It was all black. And right. so whoever the leadership was, the leadership team, they brought them there and that, that was there. Everybody had space games. So okay. Whatever happened to the Black Community Festival? Okay, back in back when yes. when we were involved in it. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's but there's it's disjointed. Yeah. It's very yeah. disjointed. There there used to be one black community festival committee. Yep. We met, we planned, you had national oh, headliners right. as uh, the Grand Marshals. You know, we had the Tuskegee Airmen here. It was all one thing. Yeah. Then it just split. One, one, one person to tried to do, and then... That was going to be my thing, is it... it and other people just said, no, we'll start our own. Yeah, see, what, what, what seems to me happens is, is some, you know, someone or a group will start this thing. Mm -hmm. And be like, we have a vision and we're doing it. But what, ha what I think happens is over the years, 
if those people running it aren't open-minded enough to bring people in to continue the cycle, they're going to, no offense old black men, they're going to get old. Exactly. Just like some of the pastors in the church, like, this is mine, this is the, and then people stop caring, and then once you can't do it anymore, there's nobody to pass it to because you taught nobody and nobody cares anymore. Right. And so the thing you built will die instantly the next year well, we, if you yeah. don't... <laughs> Or we we if, were, if, yeah. if, it was, if it wasn't die if it doesn't die because you didn't you weren't inclusive or you right. didn't mentor some folks to take it on and as old folks you didn't give young people the uh, the, the the wherewithal and the ability to do their own thing and just stand right. back and just support them yeah. right. <clears throat> then it's going to die it's 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 uh, it's okay to have a vision at this time. But the original, however, but you have to know that 20 years from now, that it may evolve to something different because right. of the generation that you either mentored or that you modeled exactly. for. And, and, and let, it, let, let them do their thing, man. Let them bump their heads and make the mistakes and whatnot because I'm 73, but a person that's 43 and 53, they're more in tune to the social media thing and what works for yeah. right now than I am. And so let me step back. I'm willingly giving them the time. We've, we've got a blueprint. This is what we've done. This is what was successful then. And it's like a resource book. You know? We tried to do that. We did. Yeah. We, we so, tried to. We tried. We, we had younger people coming in. We were telling, you know, you know, like, hey, these are the, these are the pitfalls. Avoid this, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we had that connection to... And, and, and uh, they, to, they were also contributing their ideas. Right. Just like you said, we're younger. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the deal was, some of those younger people mm -hmm. decided that what was happening mm -hmm. wasn't what they wanted to happen, and so they started splintering off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening now. Everybody's like... Well, mine is the best and blah, 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 you know. And then, I mean, we had, we, we, we had when we were children, right, the Black Community Festival hadn't come about yet, but we were uh, aligned with Seafair. And Mardi Gras. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, it was, and it was the Mardi Gras mm -hmm. um, lounge. Whatever. Well, that's that's the session that you're saying is when we were kids, kids. I wasn't right. here, but kids, kids. It was right. it was a Mardi Gras festival, right? And right. Yeah, Grand marshals in the parade. And whatnot. Well, Mar and well, let me tell you, Mardi Gras there was, was not like for Mardi Gras. It was just the name yeah, of, right, the, exactly, of, exactly. The, of of the of the of the place yeah. that helped to sponsor it. Right. And, and they the, aligned and, with Seafair. Right. Right. But they were Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. And that and that was the actual forerunner mm -hmm. of to, the black community right, right. festival right. parade. It's okay. Well, and that that was okay, so, right? So, so we accept that. Well, no, so so the right. whole thing is that was the evolution because as we got older, mm -hmm. we said, "Hey, let's do the same thing. Let's continue this going because the people that were that had the Mardi Gras parade that had been going on for decades." Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we came along, and it was like, okay, Seafair kind of went about, you know, all, all that, all so, that kumbaya went away. So we started our own. Mm -hmm. no. you know? I, I say a, a, a prime example of, of that all in action is look at a lot of times black church. But what will happen mm -hmm. is you go, you, 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 you have the the people 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 who run the church and the church goes a certain way, right? And they're always talking, we want, you know, we have to get the youth in here, okay? You get youth. What happens? You get look at the music. You have one choir, then the youth would be like, We don't like this music and the church would be like, Yeah, but this is what we do. If you want to start a youth choir, fine. Youth choir starts that thing, then they start hating on it. So the youth choir will remain a youth choir, but then they'll become a community choir. Mm -hmm. They'll start separating, like, well, we're going to do our own thing because you're not evolving with the times. Yes. And now look at the black church. But the, the, the older people are still there, 
the, you know, not filling out the pews, wondering where. Yeah, sure, yeah, <laughs> right. they're, they're putting money into it. They're right. putting money into right. it, but they're not. But they're not investing with the people staying in. So right. altogether, eventually, that's gonna, it, you know, you're gonna find a whole bunch of empty church buildings in the central. Well, yeah, but <laughs> let's see back yeah, back to the Black Community Festival. Basically, these younger people. Mm-hmm. Reduce the timeline. In other words, when we would have a parade, when we would have a festival, and we would have everything going on, whatever, okay? Once that was over, we were on the phone, writing letters, whatever, to help get sponsors, corporate sponsors, okay? But it's like these guys, the newer people, were waiting until practically the next summer, the spring, and all the all the money, all the all the money that these corporations had set aside for groups like us and you know whatever, they just had the money, but by the time we got to them, they all the money was gone. So you can't produce a lot of the things that we like, that we would like to have in our community without money. Mm-hmm. So if we didn't, if, if we wait until practically the event, you know, people can't just all of a sudden, oh, like a band here, they're committed, exactly. or an mm-hmm. or a organization, or yeah. people, you know, uh, even vendors. Sure. Yeah. Because they're trying to schedule. look out, schedule stuff, down the line because you don't want to say, okay, well, I got this done. Well, what will be my next project? Well, you're supposed to say, I got this done. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. All scheduled. And that what, that's where a lot of things went away from the one committee that, that poured that's, on that's the Black Community that, Festival. That, that, that is a, a, a trait and a skill of a business that wasn't mentored. And passed on to the young folks. We they tried. They, they yeah, we but one, one word we that we happen to mention uh, that happens now, and that is the emoji festival. Emoji, yeah. Okay? Where you've got this parade, you've got some other events that they do, and then they, they do the vendors and stuff on it's a Saturday and a Sunday, right? Right. At the Junkins Park. So that's that's an evolution. It hasn't totally went away. Oh, we did this. Right. Well, that, you know so what? It has evolved. But that, you know what? But I, that, I, I, yeah. I, I, I disagree with that. Shit. I mean, oh, it hasn't yeah. went oh, away. Shit. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. But we're just asking here. What, what What's that thing that goes on over here? Emoji mm-hmm. is not something that's, uh, that has resonated. Right. I st- see it in my mind, I still call it the Black Community Festival. Oh, yeah, our generation. Right? Yeah. But, so when they say, emo- when they say Mo- that name, Mo- I, 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 I go past it because Black Community Festival. But how many, how many mm-hmm. other people think that? I mean, it is. Okay, I don't because I've never known it as the Black Community. It was always right. been the Emoja right. Fest. Emoja, and you're, correct. Yeah, there was correct. Some, that was a but the thing but is, they're, they're, even, even Festival Sumjada. All of yeah. those festivals from Jada, Mocha Fest, that's all offshoots of what we yeah. started. See, and so, no, and I'm I don't saying, think that's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not upset about no, it. No, 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 no. I know that, 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 but what I'm saying is everything is now disjointed. These people don't want to work with these people. They're not combining ideas and to make both events better. Mm. They're not making a commitment. Yeah, because because the, commi- the commitment is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, every day there's something. Yep. There's something going on with that committee towards next year. Yeah, we had. I, man, okay, I don't think it's necessarily fair though. Well, okay, first of all, let's jump back just to kind of say what, what you were touching on. I think it's. A kind of a proven point that you know you say your mind goes past you hear the uh, emoji fest and you think this and you wonder why it's not I think that's a proven point that if if a younger generation can identify it maybe it's not how you see it 
but we wasn't there when you was. So we don't have that vision. All we have is what we see it as. And the fact that we can identify it and say, yeah, I remember this and it's going. I think that proves that it does wrap around. It's just not what you want to see. See, now that that's kind of the equivalent of I hate today's music. Yes. OK, well, music is always going to evolve. Thank you. Tell me the time it has not Thank from you. the 1800s to now you know it always evolved so i think the fact that we can identify what you guys are starting is a great thing it's not dead we can still like i said it may not be what you envisioned at the beginning but it's here as opposed to not happening at all right. and me saying i have no idea i've never heard of any mojo fest but yeah, i've participated in it so i mean i think that's a good thing it seems like an I, easy fix emoji festival formerly the black community festival. No, but 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 the whole yeah. thing is, but the whole thing is, that's one of the things that is a result of what we started back in the day. No, so, it's not. It, 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 so, it is a good example. So the thing is, each one teach each one. Yeah. Exactly. But the whole but the whole thing is, you know, these festivals that are now are offshoots of what was started back right. then. Right. But the problem is, they're not getting together. I mean, they're still, this is ours and this is ours. Whereas it should be the communities. And there should, okay. that gets back to what Lou said, inclusiveness. That's, well, yeah. So, but I mean, the thing is, but, when, we, when we did our Black Community Festival, we didn't exclude Caucasian people. We worked with, like I said, we had we got money from corporate entities to put this on, not black corporate. I mean, giant yeah. local entity, but we ran it. But wait a minute, it just occurred to me. Come on. No, Don't they get money from Seafair now? Who? The Emoji Fest. They, right. pro they probably know, did, but they yeah. probably did. We did too. Well, you, you, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And, 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 not, and not trying to criticize it or criticize it. What you said was, and what, what I know was, we actually wrote letters to corporate entities right. to get the money. Now they don't have to do that. What? That, that's a good thing. I, 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 yeah, I mean, if see, if the thing, the thing is, because the, because we were always trying to get that seafair stamp. Right. We got, we got so, them, we got them to actually think about us. Okay. It was like now the the seafarers getting involved, whatever, whatever. But we got the corporations. We got seafarers thinking about us. Then there was a little break, a little problem as far as <laughs> timing and scheduling and things like that. So different things happened. But we did try to pass on what we were doing to our kids and our kids' kids so that, you know, it would continue it's on. Same, yeah. and, it, and it is an Emoja Fest. And um, Festival Sanjata, mm -hmm. okay, that's, that's still, you know, it's, it, there's something. It's not, it may not be what we think it ought to be, but it ain't ours no and, more. And, <laughs> and, 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 and the, the, the difference, I think, mindset-wise, I don't know if it's necessarily a difference, but, but um, in action-wise, you know, when you guys were doing it, as, as you said, you went out and you sought these sponsors. You, you sought to make it this big thing. Mm -hmm. The mindset now um, is because people, not only do we not really like big corporations, but we also want to be our own corporation. Of course. So what happens is I'm not yes. actively going to seek out Chase Bank or, or Safeway or any of these big corporates. I'm going to get on my grind, get on my TikTok, Come make on. some money on there, on. Get, get pull my money together, and then do it and say, I am in charge. Loki, that's what I'm doing with Hustle Mentality. Sure. And me and my wife, we, you know, we, we are in charge, um, and that's kind of the mindset, so we're not 
necessarily seeking out these big things to make it a community thing. You want to make it your business so that you can sustain. I like exactly. It. I like that's it. really the, the that's, mindset. So when you talk about community, yes. Yes. yes, I care. Go black man, but I got my own shit going on and I need to get it off the ground. Sure. So we're going to have a community thing. I'll be a partner. We can split money, but I'm not just going to come. No, I'll do it myself. Yeah. That and that really is the mindset. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily better or worse. It's better in a financial aspect of people trying to build their own thing, but it's worse in the community aspect because people aren't working together. It's like the music industry. You don't see artists in the studio working together anymore. No. Somebody will record something in New York and email it over to LA, and somebody will do it. And then it's not that's not community. That's not putting something together. Um, so I think that's the difference between now and back then. And My three cents. That's a perfect <laughs> mindset. Like that's the yeah. business mindset. What's yeah, the brother's name? Country. Uh, Country Wayne. I, I saw folks. Uh, we can take ten minutes and watch a segment of Country Wayne. This brother. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he's a young brother, and he was saying, "No, I'm not. Uh, our generation was get a good job, work your way up, be the supervisor. Country Wayne is." Own the company. Own the company. And right. then pay your people mm -hmm. and pay them more so right. that they so go that, out and bring other good people right. in. Mm -hmm. so. But see, that, that is more, we have people yep. in our generation mm -hmm. who felt that way. Yep, James Brown. Okay, we had, yep. we had, we had, we had people, but now there's more of them and that's a good thing. So, but we also didn't have TikTok and mm -hmm. social media okay. and things. Instant communication. We actually had to <coughs> sit down and write a letter or type a letter. Type yeah, yeah, now you have instant communication, have instant every, money. Everything. Boom, 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 money boom. flows very fast yes. in this country now. Yes. A way and faster than. It ain't than real because you got Bitcoin and all that yeah, stuff. It's yeah. like you can't see that, but some people are making lots of money on stuff like that. And then you can buy and own. A picture of something, yeah, right, right, right. you know. Oh, we didn't have all that stuff, and I mean, it's. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying we didn't have those, mm -hmm. those uh, uh, sources at, at at at. Yeah, we didn't have that at our disposal. We had what we had, and we used what we had. But now we got now, young folks. The that young folks, but the see, young and, folks are trying. Are and like you said, you guys used what you had, and you made progress. Right. Yes. Um, and, now, and 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 I think just generationally speaking, you made the progress. Like, man, this is great. And then once it starts to take a different form, you'd be like, yo, we worked so hard to get it to this point, not with the, without the understanding of okay, the next generation come on. Like, okay, they look at it. They don't maybe not look at it like this is great. Like, this is cool. Let me add something to it and 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 take it somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that evolution the, the evolution of ideas mm -hmm. um, from what people start to uh, you know back then to where yes. now, if we can if you can sit and talk about something happening that it has a direct correlation to what you started, then it's not dead. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I, I hate to say this because you because you kind of brought it up, but I don't think it's even worth complaining that it's not what it was if you can talk about it in real time. It's, yeah, I agree. it's I like agree. Ah, it's here. <laughs> you know? It is here. I definitely agree. What, uh, I was going to read the, if I may, the, the definition of emoji, which is one of the uh, principles of Kwanzaa, mm -hmm. okay, which started back what, nineteen. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, I believe that I'm hearing uh, uh, CJ say, and I totally agree. I mean, I'm, I'm old, but I'm I'm willing to give this baton. I'm, exactly. I'm uh, you know, hey, bump your head. You know, you know, this is, you know, this, I you can use me as a, as a resource. What have you done? What can I help you with? If you take time to listen to whatever, I'll take time to listen to what you're doing. And if you never contact me, you know that I'm here. If mm -hmm. you never open up a, 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 a some encyclopedias, that's your fault. But the resource is there. Mm -hmm. 
You know, and, and in the meantime, my responsibility is not to knock what you're doing, because if you're willing to take the baton and take it to the next level, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I support that. The other thing about uh, when we were writing these letters to these uh, corporations and whatnot, I'm if I was on that committee, I would probably not be willing to do that. I'd say let's let's live within our own means. There's there's money and resources in our own community, churches, professional organizations, blah 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 blah. blah. We use those too. And, and to, that's like a budget. And if you only got X number of dollars, that's what you're going to do. And then the next time you get a little more, and you just source this up. It's like with Greenwood. They wasn't out there advocating more money. Those, that was money that was circulating in that black community over and over again that helped build that. Okay. And we can do that today. When you mentioned uh, about credit union, <clears throat> there's a brother named uh, Sean Rochester. Wrote this book called The Black Tax. And it started off, you know, historical. It's not a woe is me tale about what's happening. I mentioned this phrase earlier about slavery being a 100% tax on our labor. And then, and then the, um, the, uh, the period after slavery, that uh, uh, after Reconstruction, what do you call it? The um, uh, Antebellum? Uh, what's it called? Slavery by another name? You know, the oh, Jim Crow era. Jim Crow. Oh, right. Which is another Crow. Old, yeah. But anyway, <coughs> if. We were forced to do for self, as Booker T. Washington, and Marcus Garvey, and Elijah Muhammad, and Malcolm X. That doing for self, that was good for us. That, that was batons that was passed on and passed on and passed on. Then we get to a situation where the Civil Rights Movement, I think it clouded our objective. Instead of doing for self, we wanted to be integrated and assimilated, and that's the, the assimilation part, I think that's what killed us. I totally agree with that. Huh? I totally agree with that. I think that totally that. killed sure. us. And sure. so, this, this, so in his book, he talks about that, then he goes on to, I say it's not a woe, it's me. He's got a, a solution to it. He's got a, something that doesn't require legislation. Right. Okay. And it's right. built on doing for self. And it's, his uh, framework is called PhD. P H D. The P is for purchasing. Mm -hmm. Whenever and wherever possible, you support black entrepreneurs, whatever they're doing, services, mm -hmm. businesses, whatnot. So it, you know, the majority, vast majority of black businesses are sole proprietorships. Mm -hmm. We aren't hiring small, ourselves. Small businesses. You know? Uh, mm -hmm. the other the H part is hire is hiring. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you have more business coming to you, then you're able to to uh, have higher, have a bigger yeah, scale to, have, do, to right. do work, right? right? The company can grow. Money stays in that community a little bit longer because it's there. You're right. trading with folks that look like us. The second part is the hiring. If you're a part of an organization or something where you have influence or impact to an HR department, you can mm -hmm. do it, go out of your way to recommend folks <coughs> that you know that look like us who can fill these positions, right? And it's difficult because you can write a letter of recommendation for another black Certainly. That, that, that has the qualifications and whatnot, but you don't have the, 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 the lever to, to hire them. But you say something bad about them, boom, they're going to use that. Mm -hmm. For sure. They use that all the time. That's, that's been going on. For sure. The last part is deposits. And I really want this to resonate, this deposit thing. From Reconstruction, the first institutions that were, that were put together by blacks, Churches. And churches, not just for religion, but it was a gathering place. You could hear the news. Not everybody could read. They taught folks how to read. The first colleges, black colleges, they were about, they were teaching colleges. We had to be able to teach one another how to read, how to write, how to, how to manipulate, and how to navigate this economic system here, right? Without land, without an army, and without a government, and all the other stuff. And so today, this deposit thing, I'm just, just totally disappointed. Totally disappointed. You know, Member of AME Church, love my AME Church. Member of Alpha Phi Alpha, love my fraternity. Member of Blacks in Government, love Blacks in Government. However, all these organizations, I'm going to say the churches for one, on Sunday what they do, pass that plate. Mm -hmm. Get them ties. And what do they do on Monday? Take their money to that white bank. Mm -hmm. And they complain about not getting a loan. I got a business. If I started my business to say, you know, my business plan is such, I need fifty thousand dollars to get started. I need a truck, I need equipment, licenses, yada yada yada, boom, 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 I need fifty thousand dollars. Got a good credit score, go here, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm gonna get a different conversation. Well, you know, uh, let me see what, let me see all your assets. Let me see uh, who, who's your cousins, who's your relatives, what, where they at, what they got. Put their names down. Yada yada yada. Boom boom. They'll come back to me and say, most likely, it's, well, you know, we can get, we can loan you twenty five thousand dollars at this interest rate. Mm -hmm. However, the difference between, and I'm so glad that you guys did say this. When I said uh, credit union, that you didn't say, oh well, we yeah. Uh, Liberty Bank, different yeah. between bank and credit union, different between bank and credit union, one's for stock and right. one's for members, right? And then today, that institution, of a credit union, started by churches, started mm -hmm. by fraternities, professional organizations, can be done. It doesn't have to be a brick and mortar situation. Right, we got up, yeah, online. I'm living in Memphis for the last two and a half years or whatever, man, sending money. Seattle Credit Union or paying however, you know. The other is, doesn't cost nothing if you take, if you're receiving Social Security and retirement, to have that money deposited into that black institution. That adds to the resources that that institution has to be able to loan money. Banks and credit unions only make money when they loan money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have ownership. No, no, no legislation. Right. Yeah. We can walk at you gun at the same time. I'm not saying we don't, you know, I'm not like Booker T. Washington, oh no, you know, they were lynching people, man, and so uh, W.E. Boyd said, man, we got, we got some legislation to stop this, uh, this lynching stuff, but Booker T. Washington said, at the same time, we need to be building schools and institutions and whatnot, and if I got to ask white folks for some money right now to help me get started, he's going to do that. How mm -hmm. about this? So it can be is done. It, it, is can it, be done. Is it, does it kill her, Mike? Have a bank that he, that he started with some other folks? I believe so. Oh, there's a bank now. Was it one United yeah. Um, One United Bank. However, do you yeah. know if, whether or not that bank is a subsidiary of uh, Chase or any I other? I don't. Um, I don't. Only thing I know about them, I talked with a representative um, briefly when I wrote my book mm -hmm. because um, on the back of my book, I, I wanted to shout out on black businesses that I had either worked with or, you know, just heard about. Um, so, but I, so with that, no, I don't know if they're a subsidiary of anybody, I, you know. So I, I, I started filling out the application, then I stopped because I said, I wonder whether or not, just like with Liberty Banks, oh, we got Liberty Bank, Liberty Bank was a subsidiary of uh, Key Bank. Uh, Key right, Bank. true, right, true. So that's and why then, I said credit union. And then, yeah. and then back to the corporate sponsorship, come on. We didn't seek them out. They had this fund, fund that that they that they you know put aside for community groups, and so it was like hell. We are a community group, so it was like they giving the money to this parade and they giving the money to that. So why don't we take advantage of it? But sure. it wasn't where we said, oh, how can we do this? Let's just. Uh, Call and contact Boeing, and let's contact. Well, we didn't have Microsoft yet, and let's cut. No, that money was put aside, and we found out about it. So it's like, hey, let's use that as well as yes. there you go. our yeah. own yeah. resources to do this. You know, because we we like sought out community help. Mm -hmm. We had we had businesses uh, back in the day. Remember, yeah. Dee Charlene was uh, was uh, you know she was an activist as well as a finance financial contributor to mm -hmm. black oriented events. Sure. Right. So that was the whole thing. It's like you have to use everything that's available. Exactly. I, okay. I however, so, however, so you got you got to be careful though when you're getting corporate money. I believe that you need to put a sealant on that. Not more than forty nine percent of well, the money coming in. Otherwise, you, you yeah, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not totally. No, we weren't totally dependent on them. Mm -hmm. and that was the whole thing. We had our own. We we had black businesses. We had uh, uh, black organizations, including churches or whatever, mm -hmm. contributing to that. Yes, and then it was like, oh wow. These guys set aside money for a community. We went on and took that because we had to take advantage of sure. every sure. financial uh, uh, contribution that we can. But we were careful not to 
let them be in charge. Yeah, yeah you know. And, that was the thing. As, as you're saying that, I do remember uh, a few years ago when I was uh, running a homeless outreach program. Mm -hmm. huh? Had a lady that that was with us briefly, but she said we need some money because we were doing we do it we were doing it out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. Sure was, and I <laughs> yeah, <laughs> better than me. So, <laughs> so, 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 so she said, well, you know, they have some money at X Bank. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and, and I was, hell, I'm, I'm working at Boeing and I'm getting stuff for this food program and mm -hmm. I'm doing other stuff. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time. I ain't, I'm not going to sit down and write no letter or go in front of anybody, right? So she said, I'll set it up. All you got to do is go in and get it. There you go. Well, what? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I, you know, that's and, it. And, and, and that was a help for a while until I used it, until we used it all. But there is, for fun, they do set aside for stuff like community community, and community improvements or whatever right. you want, you know. So, yeah. And, and that's not just the whole bank, it's each branch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just well, they have set aside for yeah. community funds. Right. Side. And, you know, it's like you have, you have, um, corporations that were around here that had a very large black employment. I mean, a lot of black, like say Boeing, there was a lot of black folks throughout the years, I, even our parents, you know, that were employed by, so it's like, well, okay, fine. Let's see what, let's see what else can be available from you know, you corp you you corporate folks. You know, and it's like, okay, we we spend our money with your companies. We we have our money in your banks. <laughs> you know, we're working for you and 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 helping you make way more money than we gonna make. But we're still working at your for your corporation. So we that was what we figured is a benefit. Of that, it's like, hey, you know, share the wealth, you know, and unfortunately, they didn't share. You know, I mean, they. <laughs> they well, uh, uh, was yeah. asking uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson when he was operating. Mm -hmm. uh, when he was the head of uh, Operation Breadbasket. Bread, right. right. His corporation said, hey, you know, we're we're this percentage of your consumers. We're buying yes. products. You know, right. You know, we need to see some folks. Right. First of all, they look like us when we go to the store, and the other is, you know. Uh, now we get to where Roland Martin is talking about if you're going to be doing all this advertising, but like that. we need to see that money back in. Sure. Hiring black consultants, sure. being on using black media, stuff like that. Sure. There's a lot of money that comes there. A lot of folks is with money sit back and say, man, we, we just do a little portion here, a little portion there, blah, 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 right. as opposed to really helping to put the money mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's out there into uh, black hands. I, I'm a big proponent of doing for self. I'm a big proponent of that. Absolutely. And, and this credit union idea, that's one, it ain't new. Two, it, it reflects what's possible now. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go on your phone and act. Mm -hmm. you, you bank what you can afford. I'm going to try to use it consistently now and the next time we this one union bank. Because I've got the application, like I said, and yeah. I tried to fill it out and I stopped. I said, wait a minute, you know, I, you know, I want to know really. Because it was really pushing this car, and it's a Visa car. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah, you were. Yeah, but that was like you say with Liberty Bank. It was like on the surface of the black bank, but it never was. Yeah, it was like neighborhood. It is, it, yeah. It's pretty much all it was. Yeah, they, they named the building after it. Yeah. You right. remember that Volkswagen I used to drive? <laughs> day, day, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Yeah, that's like 15 years. But anyway, um, I I bought it from a friend of a guy named. Bill Davis at UW, mm -hmm. you know, South Korea, anyway. Uh, but I financed it through the NAACP credit union. Mm -hmm. So yeah. on union and yeah. what about? 19th, 18th, 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 
<laughs> Mount Baker, I mean, uh, Mount Zion. Mount Zion had a credit, credit you know, or had, I don't had know if it's still you know. going on. And I, it was right I don't know, we talk about the baton and passing it on. I don't know, the next generation, it's like we, either we didn't do a good job communicating to them the benefits of running your own financial institution. And mm -hmm. That's a way of keeping money into your own community, so it circulates at least more than once. But now, mm -hmm. you know, it was like for the longest, you know, on Friday, you know, boom, that money circulates in the community. Not very long. By Monday, it's all gone, man. <laughs> you know? Well, I think, you know, one of the things also um, between this generation and last generation or before that is I think we're now starting to open our eyes to entrepreneurship and ownership. Mm -hmm. But there was a very big gap, it seems to me. Now, I wasn't there. But between the late 60s and the mid 2000s where okay early 2000s where the generations just really were sold on the idea of this rat race of 9 5 I have to get this job mm -hmm. and get in this cycle and the thing about that I mean that I've learned is once you're in that it's very hard to get out of that mundane routine of going to work going home doing your thing going back to work you do that and you start to think that's what life is, but but when it comes to ownership now, yes, you, you do have a lot more work, but you start to open up yourself to the rest of life and not being in this rat race. Sure. And I think now we're starting to get that, and so we're starting to have ownership and being like, oh, we want to do our things and not give our lives to these entities. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there was definitely a period in there where we were all sold this go to school, get a job, da 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 da, right. da. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you lose a lot of the, the entrepreneurship and creativity. I feel right. like, looking back, there's a big gap where people was just like, let's just work and make yeah. these eight yeah. people rich. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I, you know, guys, I, I'm a little high, and I was just in my mind, I had to get yeah. that out first. No, that was, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was coherent. But, all, but also, you had a fear mm -hmm. between those times because there was so many young black people that were trying to open small businesses, trying to deal with entrepreneurship and failing. Yes, there's uh, that. Other people said, oh, well, maybe, you know, it's just a matter of, of perseverance. And that perseverance went down and down and down because you had some people back in the day when we were living in the central area, bunch of black businesses, black pharmacies, mm -hmm. uh, black uh, grocery stores. Black Front. <laughs> yeah, they tried that. Black Front, they yeah. tried that. Really? But there was a lot of, and a I lot of, a lot of, a lot of people. Oh, yeah. It's a bold stock. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot of people were into real estate because at that time, they were just trying to break that red line that they had around the central area. It wasn't just the central area, it was out here too. Well, yeah. I didn't live out here, I lived in the central area. But I, okay, you're right, I know they had it out here, but what I'm saying is, in the central area, you know, you had black businesses that were flourishing, like D. Charlene, yeah. okay, her, her boutique and what have you. You had, uh, Drugstore, Mayron's Drugs, Jordan Drugs. Drugs. You had, you yeah, have barbershops. You had a lot of services yeah. run for black people, run by black, black people, people. Yes. and that kind of went away. Their kids, all of their kids, they didn't. Oh, let's keep the whole thing going, or you know, and we had we had uh, black doctors, black dentists, mm -hmm. you know, in the area, but. After things were going up, people started failing, and younger people mismanagement, any number of things, That's and good. people, and that fear showed up. Well, okay, I'm scared to try to run a business. I'm scared oh, to try to a open a scary, business. You know, and, and, and I will say yes. this again, I have not, I, I left my, I had a corporate job, and I left it for three years ago mm -hmm. now and and it's scary bills they be want money every month yes sir. um yes. you know yes, regardless of what you're doing 
Um, so it is absolutely a scary thing, and and uh -huh. failure is absolutely a crippler for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, did that may even have like, okay, I'm gonna try and fail, and it's like, well, what do I do in the future? You know. Right. So a lot of people give up. Um, I, I um, but I just want to jump back. You know, one of the things. And this is kind of a side, small side thing, but. You you know you had said you know you know a lot of these people they would start businesses but their kids they wouldn't I think Perfection. now I don't know this but it seems to me that there is a really big lack of passing businesses down through generations these days mm -hmm. um, and it just seems that I, I I don't know why if it's necessarily the kids just are not interested in whatever their parents were doing or. They have been around it their whole life, and they just like this life is terrible. I don't want to. I don't know what the correlation is, but it is weird to me that there aren't any very there are very few family owned businesses that have like stayed alive. And I, what do you guys think? You think that is a um, I don't know. Do you think that's a generational thing of just like kids, their mindset change, or the parents not? doing a good job of bringing the kids in or like why do you think there are fewer yeah I, 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 well, I do think it's a general it's a generational thing each each generation has to see some value in doing that and if they don't see value in that or, or how can I expand this or if you're going to be bigger if you're going to, you know if they had this one little business <clears throat> and there wasn't a vision of having more businesses there you know exa I'll give you an example like um, Joe Spates the cleaner Mm -hmm. Right, I, I was just thinking again. Joe Spade's mm -hmm. uh, really sharp dude. If you ever sat, sat down talking, oh, that, that yeah, brother's sharp. He's he's on, he he could be in this competition easy. Mm -hmm. He told me one thing I never forget, uh, and I'm gonna get to that. He said the, the business that he has, he didn't sell it. They built up all around him, mm -hmm. but he didn't mm -hmm. sell that land. That's what he told me. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, yeah. he said, you know, Luther, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't making any land. That's mm -hmm. right. And so, well, I think one of the things that we missed, we said, oh, you had this business, that business, this business. But if you go back and look, did they own that land? Did they own that building? Or were they renting? And if you are not the, right, the piper plays the right. music, right. then you got to jump when the man plays the music and stops the music. Mm -hmm. And so, it's interesting, but I believe it, it, it tied into, as far as the businesses, the different conversations when they went to go to the banks to expand their business mm -hmm. and whatnot, they got a different conversation, right? Mm -hmm. than, than Adam or Bruce or Mike or whatever. Right. And so, you know, when, when I was community organizer with the city, excuse, excuse me, I was community organizer with, in Leshine, but later on worked with the city, there were so many folks that, that these, the, what do they call it, gentrification, when they came in, yeah. Yeah. And they, and they would, folks didn't look like this, oh, why don't so-and-so fix, right. fix up their property? Why don't they fix up their property? So-and-so, so, -and -so, so, -and -so you know, like, like well, they, you think that they didn't want to fix up their property? You think they didn't want to update their house? Do you think they didn't want to expand their business? Mm -hmm. When they went to that bank, they got a different conversation. Yeah, couldn't get that. Right. I just gave you examples. This was most recent. 2015 when I started mine. Had I went to yeah, I had a business plan or whatnot, had I went to a bank and said, you know, I need $50,000. You know, I could have a new vehicle, all kind of equipment, uniform. Software program, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Outreach up to me, you ain't been ready to go, right? But I bet you, I mean, I bet <laughs> as much money as I got in my pocket, whatever. They were gonna say, hmm, $50,000, well, we, we, got, we can let you have 20, mm -hmm. and this interest rate is gonna be so and so, and that's a discouragement, mm -hmm. right? And so, so there, that, that hard work from the very beginning yeah. is tough. It is, mm -hmm. But it's always been tough. Mm -hmm. It has right. always been tough. You try to push a 52 Buick from dead stop, it takes a lot of energy. Yeah, it do. Right, but to answer his question, his generation has more access to computers, more access for information, like right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And his generation is, I don't want to work as hard as you. I appreciate right. how hard you work. Mm -hmm. I want to work smarter. I can get money. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. Here's right. the baton. You know, I'm giving right. you the baton. So I'm, I'm happy for him. There was a lot of that. And at the same time, we weren't getting loans we could afford. And I, mm -hmm. I just got two points out. Shut up. Mm -hmm. We were redirected to move out to Renton. Mm -hmm. We were redirected Kent. to go oh, out okay. to Kent, oh, where houses are cheaper. So now you're breaking up the dynamic yes. mm -hmm. of the community. And... Um, which is also a factor of why community 
yes. events and functions right. taper off that's because right. the communities. Right. 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 Anyway, sorry, finish your point. No, 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 that's, that's, that's a good point because that's a good point. The community is not here. Yes. That things don't have to be brick and mortar. Right. And that's, that's that's what what do. Do. But that's what they're telling us. You know, but there is there. There's one other thing that was involved in what we were, ta what I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Mr. Uh, Jordan was a pharmacist. Right. Yeah. Now his kids don't necessarily want to go into pharmacy. Miss mm -hmm. Mayran, his kids didn't necessarily want to be a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. You know, so. That's another thing. It's like, okay, I got a pharmacy, mm -hmm. but who am I going to pass it down to? My kids are 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 into communications. They're into journalism. They're into yeah. a whole bunch of different things. They don't necessarily want to be a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing which some of those skilled, but but the skilled but businesses. But the thing is with space. You know. He, oh no, he's he, you you can well, you can you, you know as a, as a, as a, if I was a. If, you, if we were a different generation, right. when I was a kid, and whatnot, I'd say, I don't want to go into pharmacy, and whatnot. I would hope that my parents would whatnot say, well, let's, let's keep the building. You can always lease this. Yes, stuff. of course. You, you can, can always lease this. Look, stuff listen, if you, have, if you have the business, you Come have on. the building, Come on. it doesn't necessarily have to continue to be a pharmacy. Thank you very much. But you exactly. still, exactly. but you still, I mean, you know, that's something that's there. That's a revenue stream. You, know, that's a but you right. have to be able to see that. Yeah, I was about to say, yes. that's, that's something that is very easily said and put on paper and it makes so much sense i don't disagree with you now let's put it in the 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 effect of your parents who have worked their entire adult life to build this up um and and like brick and mortar and working harder mm -hmm. you know that's their philosophy work hard this is how you get to where we got now as a new generation person you're like yeah but I could work smarter and I don't want to do what you're doing right. and I can make more no disrespect to you but this is the way the world is the world, yeah. what happens a lot of well I don't know if this happens but I can see it happening is the parents one looking at the kids you're being lazy that starts a riff there uh, yeah. Talk about discouragement, <laughs> anything, whatever you want, because the parent of a work harder generation does not understand the child of the work smarter generation, there's a rift that can have whatever ripple effect. Yeah. Um, and then talk about having the foresight, that parent has been, spent their life working this up. A lot of times their sight is what they see. There is no foresight. This is the business. Look at the footprint. There's nothing outside of this, and it, you know. So I think that's something that um, younger people, I think, deal with when coming from like an entrepreneurial family, is they may instilling you the the mindset of doing for yourself, but because times change, you know, you do different things, and that, and I think that you know, going back to like generational mm -hmm. things, I think that's where rifts are caused, and and. Turning your brick and mortar store or, or your location, keeping it and and transforming it is an absolutely amazing great idea, but I don't think people have the sight. They was like, why would you you know, they take offense that you don't want yeah. this empire, <laughs> you know, that, that uh -huh. was built. Um, well, yeah. well in, in response to your question, my grandfather started a cab company back in in the the town we were, in, we were living in, I grew up in, mm -hmm. and we had a black section, it's all black businesses. The uh, money circulated because he had 10, 12 cabs on his lot, mm -hmm. and the only people that used them was the black people because they didn't want to pay money to the county to sit on the back of the bus. Sure. So my granddad actually brought the land. So he was leasing out spots to the other cab for Bingo. So. That's a model. That's a model. You know what I'm saying? He's but but That's when he died, when he passed away early, mm -hmm. my grandmother, because all of her sons were not even not in town, and they were all off in their careers. All over route, yeah. Scattered so she just sold the land, sold the house, and that's how she was able to come out here and buy a house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I said all that to say a lot of times the breaking up of businesses may have been 
of those kind of circumstances where the head guy passed away and who was left couldn't hang. Didn't share the same yeah, exactly. Sure, sure. Got and it. or got cheated out of their land or there their property. Go. I mean, there was... Man, man down where we from, man, we got so much, there's so much land going on. Mm -hmm. Nobody was cheated out of anything. And a lot of it now has been declared uh, national, what you call that? Uh, oh, historic, true, historical. Okay, and, and that's good because you have a success story. <coughs> All those stories aren't that successful. But, yeah. No, they're not. But I, I say that to say success breeds success. It should. Yeah, it should. It should. It should. It should. I mean, yeah, I, I, I think he's a prime example. I mean, uh, you may not be making a million dollars. I'm about to say, oh, what no. are we talking about the test here? <laughs> no, no, but here, here's the thing. Uh, you're you're the exception, it. not the rule. Here's uh, the thing. I hope to be an exception. Jeez. All all of the, like, let's deal with the central area, okay? You know how many $10,000 homes are worth a million dollars now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, I, a lot of times... Finish your point. But. A lot of times, people are financially forced out of yes. their property and yes. their yeah. their holdings. Yes. So, you know, but that's I mean that's just yeah. another problem that yeah. you know we have to deal with. But that know. was Seattle's plan anyway, well, of going way back because the central area has always been prime property. Yes, they're terrorists. Right about down, down right about down. Right about that's always been prime <laughs> property. So the master plan was to get us out of central Seattle so that they can bring Where? air. No, but they are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 I only say that because, and we got to wrap this up, is because when my parents were looking for another place to live, mm -hmm. and they was in Seattle, it was based in Seattle, right? Oh. They actually came out as far as written, mm -hmm. trying to find a place, and, and what they found was, oh, this area is red line too. Yeah. Yeah, and well, so, I, I'm just saying, it just wasn't the central. Okay, like, no, but no, 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 but, but, but it was designed, I think. Right. That's what we were designed to live. To keep right. But the yeah, right. But yeah, the central area was an example to these guys. Anyway, uh, well, it's time to get up out of here. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming in for another stimulating episode of stimulated. Old Black Men Conversation. This was stimulating. Um, Very stimulating. I'm your co-host. Cool breeze, and I'll see y'all next time. Cool. Cool All breeze. Right. Stay Those. cool, cool breeze. I'm Garrett, your personal street philosopher, and I do want to congratulate us. That was a very good, stimulating, and important conversation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what I would like for the old folks to do, this is going to be hard for us, let's spend more time trying to understand the young folks. This is an example where we can have role reversal. Our, <laughs> our, our producer can teach us how to be successful right. the way money works today. Yeah, well, you know, that that it that might be a little tough because Y'all got a house y'all got houses. I, yeah. <laughs> I got a little bedroom apartment, okay? I, <laughs> I, I still I, I still I still know people of my generation that that thought hip hop would never catch on. <laughs> but anyway, this fan's going out at some point. <laughs> it was never last. But anyway, uh, I, I'm the real Cliff Barnes, and I'd like to say thanks for tuning in. And if you liked us, tell all your friends and share us on on social media and what have you. And if you didn't, just keep it to yourself. Hit the like button. And <laughs> right, yeah, just keep it to yourself. Say 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 good say, say good night, Lou. Good night, Luke. No, just good night, Luke. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a very stimulating conversation. I, I appreciate your time. Very good. It's, uh, well spent. Uh, to echo what my friend Gary Green said about, uh, about listening to younger people and appreciating their uh, right. current experience with money and how it moves and how it works. Uh, it, it's, it's education, and I'm willing to never be too old to learn. Hey, you can learn something from any and everybody. Free the Jackson Five. <laughs> I didn't know your hair was red. Uh, Black History Month <laughs> is every day, not just. That's yeah. right. Monday. It's Jan not Black just, History is not, January first through December thirty first. That's right. Twenty four seven. Black you mirror. You gonna see some Black History. Black That's History. Right. Hey, come on. We are modern Black History. Hello. 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 <laughs> Take care. Peace out.
we were born.